Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to get your homebrew or homebrews on the home screen. And I'm, I think you've seen those, uh, uh, you've seen those, uh, pictures around where there is, where the HP menu is on the home screen instead of being in the homebrew menu screen. And that's, that's pretty, that's pretty cool actually to just be able to launch from, uh, from just the home screen and today I just found this tool and I just wanted to share with you guys uh, it's as simple to download you just have to go on this website this uh, article on GBA tip I'm gonna load it I'm going to um, link it in the description down below but it's just easy and you just have to follow this four steps you just have to download it get the folder and then get some prod keys uh, Prod keys are easy to do. Uh, if you look up online, I think somewhere on Reddit it should tell you. Like if you go in here, search pirates, which is my uh, my go-to. I know it's gonna it's gonna tell you how to get them. You just have to get this thing called Logpick RCM, and then uh, launch it from Akate, and then it should be able to just get the prod keys and, and put them on a folder neatly for you. Uh, I'm gonna show you where the folder might be at. Um, if I can launch it over here uh, and you should have everything you need on there actually let's see uh, switch um, yeah as you can see they're all down there uh, if you launch the RC uh, like big RCM from bootloader uh, payloads should be right here this one right there um uh yeah uh, you, you should know what this is and how to do it uh that's like that's the that's how it makes the that what makes the N nsps run basically like yeah so um you get that and then you just go from there uh, there is your folder should look somewhat like this without the nsp menu because you haven't done anything yet but um yeah that should be exactly how it looks like and you just open it and put in the um, name of whatever you wanna. Let's just say we're doing HP menu here. I'm gonna make an example, uh, HP menu. It's not what it spells like. There we go. And your name, we could put anything down here actually. And <laughs> title ID, you can, you can just do a random one. And you can choose the icon path, which is I've made some icons I can link in the description for you guys, which are very like simple. Uh, let's go. I they look bad because I don't know how compression works. I've been trying to like get a bunch of different ones, but I don't know how compression works. So uh, they all look bad, but I use they all sort of look bad. But just get the um, get your own icon. You can even do you can even do a logo where whenever it launches, it probably says like uh. Nintendo switch on there or whatever you want from there, but yeah, it's easy to just do that and make it as uh, customizable as you possibly can and as you guys in I already have my prod keys and I've shown you how to get the prod keys you just get logpeak RCM launch it from Hakate and then it should uh, Show up on and then you can just like scroll down to get prod keys download it and it should be available for you on the um and your switch main folder where all your uh, homebrews are at that's pretty much all you have to do and the NRO path is basically like if I if it's the homebrew menu I only have to do that HP menu dot NRO you basically are, uh, are finding where you where exactly your uh, homebrews are at so if it was in the switch folder I probably put switch slash uh, NSB folder and then slash NRO basically just simple path I can show you how to do it actually from uh, using a FTPD let's just say I want the well there uh, let's go to the switch folder Edison and then there's the yarn row All I have to do is go there uh, file name and copy include path and um, delete paste perfect see that's exactly knows exactly where it needs to go in order to get uh, what it needs to do but since we're not doing the Edison thing now we're just gonna do HP menu that in which is the easiest one. Um, and perfect. Uh, pretty much that's it. Like that's all you have to do. Download the 
download the uh, download the files from here and get the control from there and move, move the controls into the main files and it should be uh, get the name ID prod keys and arrow path and you can even make retrog ROM folders so if you want to launch Pokemon uh, fire from uh, Retro, I could just do that and go from there. That's pretty much it. I know it's probably going to be difficult, which is why I don't want to do it. But um, yeah, uh, it's yeah, it's as easy as that. Just find the core, and then find the ROM name, and that's pretty much it. It's it can't get any easier easier than that. And as you can see, I've already made some uh, myself. I'm going to show you the ones I've made, and they're pretty simple. As you can see, I have the um, HP menu, I went to the FTPD, and see, as you can see, just launches an emulator right from the, um, right from the, right from the home menu, which is why I don't have to, uh, I don't have to go through all the trouble of finding it over here and just like launching it from there. It just, it basically, it basically just what does this thing without having to go through extra steps for it and I can even launch FTPD as you can see and I can even launch uh, I went somewhere from here which is all the ones I think you probably need I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to link these for you so even if you don't know how to do them you could just uh, if, if you don't understand what I'm saying you could just uh, install those they should work on the latest latest updates of the switch and I think that's pretty nice as you can see, there is some like residue on the icons that I don't like very much, but um, I don't know how to do image compression to make it look even better than this. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it actually. Uh, I probably I didn't skip over anything. I know I went, I've gone over everything for you, but um, this sim sounds like a jumble mess. But I don't know how to explain it any um, easier for you. But um, yeah, that's all you pretty much have to do. Get the files, uh, put control in there, and you should have a control folder. That's that's if you want to make a uh, retro arc uh, and a rose so you can launch your um, GBA games or uh, whatever games that's on the retro arc without having any problems. Uh, that's pretty much it, actually. You know how to get the prod keys, I've already showed you how to do that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. This is a cool little thing right there. It's called a uh, Gang Genji Arcade thing. You can just get it for 40 bucks. It's pretty nice. Um, and also, if you guys want to get some themes, I've seen people don't know how to get themes actually, which is weird. But if you guys want to get some themes, all you have to go is to go to themes.net, like, and they have all the themes you want to, and they even show you how to make your own themes, which is something I don't understand that people don't know how to do that but um it even tells you whenever you're hack hacking your switch even where to get the themes and people don't seem to get that but um yeah you just get whatever you want from here most of these are disgusting but if you guys want to get my themes uh i've made some themes for the switch and if you guys want to jump on those that's pretty much cool we just go on the annex theme subreddit and you can uh, find some of the themes that I've made. Uh, my username is this. Uh, first, my username, you just have to go in there and just find some of the things that I've made, but that's pretty much it, actually. If you guys like this video, I'd prefer it if you guys liked it. And comment if you don't understand something but um i should be able to go over it with you because this is very easy and if you don't understand something it even has comments on here if you can go down through and it should be easy for you to do so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one